Morning guys. I just wanted to start this video by just letting you know. In the last two videos I did, I found out, well I noticed that I did a couple of things wrong or I should have done them differently. And I'm not I'm not I'm not a trained mechanic, I'm not I'm not a professional on bodywork or detailing. I'm literally learning as I go. And if it wasn't for you guys in the comment section below letting me know all the different solutions or what I could do to do a better job next time, then I would never learn. So thank you very much for that. I'll probably be getting some auto solve for um, the exhaust tips. I've heard that's a really good recommendation for everybody everybody that has, that's mentioned has mentioned that brand. And another thing, don't copy me when it comes to taking the wing mirror shell off. You don't have to take the glass off, you don't have to unscrew anything. It pops off. I took the long way around. It wasn't even a long way around. It was a way that shouldn't have happened. So yeah, follow another video for that. But if you want to watch somebody fail and, and laugh some more, then, then watch mine. It's fine. Anyway, we are going to do something else on the car today. I want to adjust the clutch biting point today. Just because, especially when you're at higher revs, even at lower revs sometimes, I find it difficult to, ch to get into a gear quickly or change gears quickly. With the biting point being so low, you've got to make sure that, that clutch is fully down the whole time throughout the gear change, which I try to do anyway, but sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of backup. I was going to get on it straight away, but I've been annoyed with the sound quality lately of the videos, especially because of the wind. And as you could tell from the lighting in this room, it's not exactly bright today. So I'm guessing there's going to be a little bit of wind as well. And then it clicked in my head. I was like, it's going to be, if it's windy at Japfest, you're not going to hear a thing. I don't want that for you guys. So I was going to order a dead cat uh, wind filter for uh, the mic, but for one pound more, I could pick it up from a store. So. I thought, I'll not waste time, I'll not get a delivery sent to the house that when nobody's going to be here, it's going to go somewhere else, I'm going to have to go and pick it up and then bring it home and then eventually use it for my next video. <sighs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and pick one up now, and then we'll film. Okay? Okay. Oh, another thing, I've got really horrible knobbly knees, and they cane whenever I've knelt down, anything like that. So, Francesca got me a little kneel pad. Kneel pad? A little kneel pad. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Evan Shanks. No digs good. It's good. Right guys, they didn't they didn't have any in stock. I'd have to order one in to come in tomorrow, which defeats the object for me of, of getting one off Amazon in the first place. So I'm probably gonna do with that, save a couple of quid in the process as well. Uh, it is a bit gloomy. Hopefully it won't be too windy on the mic today. So let's get home and let's get cracking with the job. Okay guys, just to let you know. I've got this clamped on the side of the trim. It's this bit here that need a clamping, simply because the two bits that held it in in the middle and the top have actually snapped, so it's quite floppy this bit. I was looking at replacing it, but a lot of you guys have been saying to glue it and get a decent clamp on it, so I got one of these clamps from work. I should hopefully have all the tools that I'm going to need to do this. Uh, I'm actually following a guide on a website called CivInfo. Anything to do with Civics that is this age, FN2, like a newer. They've been. It's such a helpful place to get so much information about things you need to know about the cars. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so first thing I've got to do is I've got to try and get this side trim off here. There should be a screw, and then eventually the front of this whole trim should come off as well so that we can get down into the mechanical side of the clutch pedal. I don't like, I don't have a proper trim kit to get all this off, I really should get one. One of you guys actually suggested that and that's probably something to get in future. I think I'm going to need a flat blade. I think we've got under it. Come on. Oh, you oh. Yes. Okay, so just gonna pop this screw off and then we should be able to get in. I'm gonna have to move the car because I can't open the door enough. Bear with me. I am the biggest idiot on this earth. I've just checked around the car, thought everything's fine. There's nothing in the way. I'll get in, just roll off the drive a little bit. Went to shut the door, the clamp. I forgot about the clamp. So that did sound very nice. Luckily there's no like there's no extra damage to the door which is a good thing. The only thing is there's a slight slight chip there. There's no there's no actual dint, it's just paintwork. I've got some touch up, I can touch that up. 
If anything, that was a very, very, very lucky escape. So, just gotta be more careful. Okay, second attempt. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh God, that came down fast. Okay, I'm using. I'm gonna use my phone light just to make it a bit brighter, but that cylinder there, I don't have a 17 mil spanner, so I'm gonna have to use an adjustable wrench just here. I need to unscrew, loosen up that nut, and then take the wiring out of the top of there, and then we can go on to the next step. Okay guys, I thought I literally like slid off the nut, but I actually broke it off, which is not, not snapped it off, I broke the nut off. So that's good, that is now loose. So now we've got to take the clip out from above. Oh, okay, so I'm actually, I am actually now taking this off. Uh, so that we can get to the adjuster which is actually behind there so that's the main bit we need to oh there we go so that's now clear off Let's see what else we can get to right guys i'm gonna have to take you out of there just because i can't get in with the camera so i'm gonna try and do what i need to do show you after i've done it and show you where i've adjusted it and everything so you understand right um No, no. I, I, I don't think we're gonna get it done today, guys. I've literally spent about half an hour. I don't even know if I can show you. Okay, guys, so up here, you might not be able to see it. You have to push the clutch down and it exposes that nut there, right? Whilst that is pushed down, you have to undo that, you have to crack off that nut and then release it back. And then get some pliers and the rod that you can see there needs to be twisted to adjust it. Now, for me to be able to push the clutch down and get all the way under there and try and break it off with this, I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to do that, I can't do it. Um, I've tried every angle, I've nearly brought my back trying to do it, getting under the dash and everything. I can't physically do it with that wrench. I need a, something with a longer, there's a something, Oh, there was a spider hanging on my hair. I need something longer so I've got more of a more leverage, more of a moment so that I can actually crack it off, but I can't do it. So we know now we failed this time, but failing you try again. I just need a different tool, a longer tool. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna end this video here. We didn't get a mic, uh, windbreaker. We didn't adjust the clutch. Failed attempts today. But all this is, is showing you that no matter how many times you fail, you carry on. And we will get it adjusted, eventually. So I hope you somewhat enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you do want to watch any more videos, please subscribe. And click the little bell so you get a notification every time I post a video. So thanks again, and like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. At least that's fixed. Thank you.